Memories of Christmas in Baileyborough. Besides the annual events of Santi arriving by fire brigade to turn on the Christmas lights, the Christmas Day swim, making the trek to Dublin on the 8th of December to see Switzer's window, and visiting the great bearded man himself in a wobbly green caravan outside Raymond Lights, one festive event sticks out in my mind. I'm not exactly sure of the year or what age I was when it happened. All I remember is it was cold and the town was white with frost, fog and feathers. I was standing on the market square in Baileyborough at the last live turkey market. On that day, live turkeys, ducks and geese were sold for the last time. Paddy Riley, my father, bought a bronze turkey, a rare bird at the time, from his cousin PJ Riley. Mammy was vexed because it wasn't a John Ed turkey and she reckoned it was too small and skinny to feed the six of us. A hurtle of bones, she called it. Daddy went to Mickey Brady's pub to seal the deal and I was sent with him to curtail any overindulgence. The pub was full. There was high talk and a thick fog of cigarette smoke. All of a sudden, the door opened and Billy Smith from Muller sauntered in with a gander and under his oxter. He ordered a pint of Guinness and a bag of tato. People were laughing and making jokes and the barman placed the pint down in front of the gander and the crisps in front of Billy. Jemmy Podgy, may you rest in peace, lifted his pint and tipped the gander's glass, wishing him a happy Christmas and many more. Everyone cheered and raised their glasses in salute to the gander. He gulped a beak full of stout and staggered out of Mickey Brady's. A fitting finale to a disappearing tradition. My name is Sarah O'Reilly and I am the Cahirlux of Cavan County Council. I want to wish everybody well at this time of year and season's greetings to everybody at home and abroad. Mm -hmm.